All right, in this video, I'm gonna refine this sterling silver, which is 0.925 fine into 0.999 fine silver. The first step is to burn off any residue such as leftover wax, grease, or oils. Here you can see I have uh, some of the sterling silver that I'm starting off with in the beaker here. And then here in a second, I'm just gonna add some distilled water along with some nitric acid, which will start the reaction and the refining process. A little bit of the setup here. Uh, this is all in a fume hood. Extremely important as this does give off toxic gases. And then roughly the order that I plan to uh, refine the silver in. All right, we've got the fume hood turned on. Now I'm gonna slowly add some nitric acid to start our reaction. We'll cover that up. Let the reaction begin here. We're in the green zone, it means we're good. All right, the elapsed time has been about 25 minutes. You can really see this reaction taking place now. You can kind of see that the silver nitrate is starting to form with that greenish turquoise solution we have now. And there you can see those toxic gases be that nitric dioxide. We have that covered in, of course, in the fume hood. We'll check back in. All right, while we're waiting for the process to take place, I did have a little time, decided to melt another one of these silver skulls. Came out pretty nice at 31.4 grams, just over one troy ounce. I think we have quite a bit of time, so I might pour another one. Alright, the elapsed time is now about 40 minutes. You can really see the reaction is going well now. And that uh, silver is breaking down into the silver nitrate. Alright, dipped away for one more quick pour. Looks like another one that came out pretty well. Nice. Our elapsed time is now one hour and 20 minutes. And as you saw a second ago, I had time for one more pour. This one came in right at 31 grams. All right, the current elapsed time is about one hour and 50 minutes. The reaction has slowed down a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some additional diluted nitric acid. It's been about 10 minutes since I added that diluted nitric acid and you can see that it really sped up the refining process or the reaction here. All right, we're about four hours into the refining process now and I'm about halfway through my silver lot. Here's what you can see remaining. 
We're just about six hours into the refining process now. I'm gonna go ahead and add more sterling silver. If either too much sterling silver or nitric acid is added at once, the reaction can boil over. Here I'm just getting ready to add some distilled water if necessary, which will slow that reaction down. The refining process is complete. You can see we don't have any active reaction happening at this moment. There is a little bit of sterling silver left at the bottom here, a very small piece. But I need that to make sure that all the nitric acid has been used up or neutralized. Now it's going to be time to siphon this silver nitrate solution from the beaker down into my vacuum filter flask. Here I'm siphoning just the silver nitrate from the large beaker down into this Buchner funnel which has a fine filter paper in it. And then that's going down into my vacuumed filter flask below here. This will filter out any impurities so that we're left with just a nice pure silver nitrate. Here's our silver nitrate, basically liquid silver all filtered out. No impurities in there. I've transferred my silver nitrate back into this large beaker. Now it's time to place the copper wire into the silver nitrate. The silver nitrate will exchange ions with the copper, turning the silver nitrate back into a solid state of silver. And then the copper will actually change into a copper nitrate. You can already see instantly that reaction taking place. That gray color on there is actually the silver already forming into a silver cement. There's that silver already falling down towards the bottom of the beaker.
All right, we're doing pretty well here. I'm already pretty happy with this yield that it looks like we're getting. You can see it's still active. Silver crystals. Nice pure silver. All right, here you can just see the various layers of silver crystals as they fall into the bottom of the beaker with the weight of it uh, concentrating most of the silver towards the bottom and then the upper portion is a little bit lighter uh, and has still some of the, at this point, copper nitrate in between the crystals. Okay, here's a look at our copper wire after removing it. Notice how some portions are much thinner now after the redux reaction. All right, so after filtering all that silver, which was tedious and quite boring, now drying our final product here. Looks like we got a pretty good yield. All right, so out of our 1,013 grams that we had initially of sterling silver, we still have this soup spoon or ladle left over. This is about 34 grams. I didn't need to use that. Ultimately, I was saving that last piece if I needed to use up the rest of the nitric acid but instead this was the only piece that did not fully dissolve in our nitric acid solution and into silver nitrate so there has to be a little piece left over in order to use up all of that nitric acid All right, after the drying process, we're left with this fine silver cement or powder, which is a 0.99 fine silver. The next step is going to be to melt this down into a silver shot, making it easier to pour into some molds. All right, here I have my silver in my furnace, getting ready to be melted into shot for my next pours. Here's a little teaser on the first piece that I did. Uh, video coming soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.